So today we're using the new ELC Ellingrom heads. You'll see that we're using a combination of soft, soft boxes, strip boxes, beauty dishes with grids on, and I think you'll really enjoy these couple of little shoots with our great little dad sir that we're photographing for the first time in studio. Enjoy it. These heads are pretty much the pro level. Um, it's a light for life as far as I'm concerned. So when you buy into Ellencrom, you're not just buying an entry level, it's gonna fall over and kind of break in the next six months or 12 months and wish you'd spent the more money. Uh, you're looking at a robust professional head with all the technology in here of their real pro end stuff. The main thing that we're going to be doing today is looking at um, how they respond. So in other words, how quick the new capacitor uh, is kind of uh, really changing its uh, pulsation. So in other words, how fast can I, can I shoot? That's imperative when I'm shooting with dancers, of course. Um, one of the things I'm also trying out today, I like to push things, yeah? Um, there's nothing wrong in that. Um, but I'm using the 125 head, which is this little one here. Um, I'm using that in the sky. I'm using it with a softbox on. Originally, I would only be using the likes of a D-Lite 1 head um, to have a grid on because there's really not enough power on it to actually get up to where I need to actually shoot. But the extra uh, 25 watts, that's given me enough to actually shoot with a small head in the, in the sky, so less weight, still giving me the perfor a performance. The key thing is though, is that the, the pulse, so in other words, how fast I can shoot with even a little head like this. Because traditionally when you've got a small introductory head, they haven't got the technology in them, which means there's a very long recharge time between shots and things really. One of the main dif differences is there's now an LED bulb in here, which means it's cold light, uh, which is absolutely essential for us, especially if we're doing food photography or if we we're working in a very confined space or using gels, all right? The amount of meltdown <laughs> I get on gels, the key thing was always to keep the gel away from the flash tube, that's still the key thing, but the other one was to keep it away from the modeling bulb because it was basically melt onto the modeling bulb. It doesn't matter uh, how many times you try and keep it away, just that little error, you change the head position and it drops onto it and so on. Anyway, LED, so that's solved that anyway. Check out the kind of the techie films to actually see all the kind of the basics on the back here. But now we've got a visual control so we can see straight away exactly uh, what frequency it's on, what speed we're on, what uh, group it's on as well and things really. So it's giving us the, tech, uh, the technology of the, uh, the full ESE Pro heads. Anyway.